The American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Bully are frequently mistaken for the same breed of dog. These two puppies are not the same at all. While there are some parallels between them, there are also some variances in terms of their sizes and builds. See how these two aggressive dogs compare to one another. Due to the fact that they are both pit bull type dogs, the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Bully have many similarities. Frequently, people mix the two up. Indeed, even the many pit bull admirers out there. However, there are a few distinctions that distinguish two dogs. It's crucial to learn as much as you can about a dog's background, demeanor, and temperament before you welcome a new canine companion into your house. Although the American Bully and the Pit Bull can both be wonderful companion animals, neither breed is ideal for every family. You are in the right location if you are here because you are having trouble choosing between these two well-liked dogs. Both dogs will be covered, beginning with their pasts. You'll also discover which breed of dog is more suited to various lifestyles. Both dogs can make wonderful companions for families, they just need the appropriate ones. Let's compare these two puppies and look at their similarities and differences. Many dog owners adopt a dog into their family without looking into the canine's breeding background. The history of dogs, however, is crucial since it reveals everything about their original intent, which will aid in your better understanding of them and guarantee that you are able to meet their needs. Check out the historical connections between the pit bull and the bully. The English pit bull terrier, also referred to as the pit bull, dates back to the 1800s and is an American breed. His forefathers were created by crossing terriers and bulldogs to produce the ideal combat dog. He was used to kill as many rats as he could in the ring while fighting other canines in blood sports. After the terrible sport was outlawed in England, the combatants brought their fighting dogs to the United States. There, the largest, most prosperous breeds were crossed to produce the pit bull. And because of this, they have a dreadful reputation. People started to discover how gentle and devoted he is, though, once fighting was outlawed in America. He rose to fame as a ranch hand and therapy dog. Additionally, more households around the world are welcoming this stunning dog into their homes thanks to canine education. The United Kennel Club, UKC, does acknowledge him, but not the American Kennel Club, AKC, UKC. Bully in America One of the four breeds of canines classified as pit bull type dogs is the American Bully. He is the pit bull's natural extension, which explains why they are so similar. It's thought that he was also inspired by the American Bulldog, English Bulldog, and Old English Bulldog. He is American-born, and in 2013 the UKC recognized him as a distinct breed of dog. The same misconceptions about American Pit Bull Terriers apply to this dog, and he is also covered by breed-specific laws, BSL. In the world of bully dogs, the American Bully has gained considerable notoriety. A staggering quarter million dollars was paid for the most expensive bully, White Rhino. Thus, he became an extremely sought-after stud. These two dogs have extremely different looks, despite the fact that they are frequently both referred to be pit bulls. Pit bulls often stand 17 to 21 inches tall from paw to shoulder. Additionally, he is a medium to occasionally large-sized dog, weighing between 30 and 65 pounds. The pit tie fits in with most families thanks to his moderate size. The American Bully Kennel Club states that there are four different American Bully sizes. Following the pocket in order of decreasing size are the Standard, Classic, and XL. Bullies can range in weight from 25 to 120 pounds, depending on the size you select. You must consider the incredible weight variety when deciding which size bully to welcome into your family. From 13 to 23 inches tall, they are. The 174 pound record is held by a bully by the name of Hulk. The pit bull has an athletic, muscular build and a proportionate overall appearance. The simplest method to distinguish between them is that the bully is not a proportionately built dog. Bullies are shorter and broader than they are tall. 
He has greater muscles and a larger appearance than an English bulldog. Many people are unnecessarily intimidated by them because of their scary dog appearance and history. They are huge softies, and all you have to do is look at their ear-to-ear -ear smiles to know that. Both dogs have soft-touch double coats that are short, straight, and wavy. Their fur is plush, and the bully is frequently described as a velvet hippo. With the exception of Merle's and albinism, they both appreciate a variety of canine hues. White, red-nosed, and blue-nosed pit bulls are the most popular colors. Pit bulls and bullies that aren't real pitties or bullies will be attempted to be sold by certain reckless breeders. The temperaments of the two dogs are remarkably similar. They are both sociable canines who enjoy having people around. They'll feel depressed, frustrated, and anxious without it. You should consider alternative breeds for sure if your family is unable to keep them company for the majority of the day. But if you can, you'll find a shadowy four-legged friend in each of these fellas. They both love kids and would be wonderful additions to any family. Although you shouldn't leave children alone with any dog, these two are known as nanny dogs, so you can be sure they will be lured to cuddling up to and watching over your children. Both of them make excellent therapy dogs since they have a keen understanding of humans and their emotions. They are equally devoted to their families and will protect them in the event of danger. The truth is that these animals are amiable by nature and, unless specially taught, do not make good security dogs. Not like the naturally guardian German Shepherd or Doberman Pinscher. Even though they don't frequently start fights, they will defend themselves if necessary despite what some individuals may think. Sadly, you will see people using the crosswalk to get away from you and your bully type breed. They are both a lot of fun since they adore people and have a lot of energy. These two are always willing to play games with you and the rest of the family. With these guys, you get the best canine entertainment for nothing. Nothing makes them happier than cuddling up next to you in bed after a fun-filled day. They both exhibit affection, although some may argue that the larger, rollier bully delivers warmer embraces. When it comes to their activity requirements, the two dogs are fairly comparable. To be happy and healthy, they both need to exercise for 60 minutes each day. These men aren't your typical couch potatoes, including the hefty American bully. If we had to pick one breed over another that was more active, it would have to be the pit bull. Pit bulls are more athletic and nimble, and they require more cerebral stimulation throughout the day. Due to his English bulldog ancestry, the bully enjoys taking it easy in between workouts. Make sure to choose a sturdy toy that can endure their relentless play because both are stubborn and rough in their play. Pit bulls are considered to be a little smarter than bullies, so make sure to buy him some puzzle toys to keep him occupied. You shouldn't have a bored dog on your hands if you provide them varied exercise and interactive playtime. When out in public, it is suggested to keep them both on leashes because to their dreaded reputation. All dogs are unpredictable, even though they aren't the ones most prone to cause trouble. You should also research your local BSL regulations before selecting a dog. In several states, bully-type dogs must be muzzled when out in public. Others forbid visitors from entering dog parks. When it comes to their abilities and training requirements, the two dogs are slightly different. Pit bulls are bright, eager to please, and very trainable canines. He is appropriate for first-time dog owners with a little research on canine training. Once more, the bully can occasionally be a little more stubborn and headstrong due to his English bulldog ancestry. He needs a more seasoned dog owner who can capitalize on his independence and obtain the greatest results from him. These canines need to be properly socialized from the start. Before you even get the animal home, a good breeder will begin training. Your responsibility then will be to carry on. As many pets and people as you can should be mixed with them both. Likewise, introduce them to a variety of sights, sounds, and smells. The pit bull may exhibit fear aggression traits more than the bully because of his history in dogfighting if he is not properly socialized. Research and use of positive reinforcement training will yield the best results for both dogs. 
nobody should subject a dog to harsh treatment or training methods. These powerful dogs in particular should not be mixed with other strong dogs, as the result could be dangerous dogs. Discover what best stimulates your dog. Treats are probably what will motivate the bully, and toys are likely to motivate pit bulls. Both dogs want for human interaction. And despite how much we would love to and how much they deserve it, we can't be with them all the time. All dogs should be housebroken, but those predisposed to separation anxiety should be trained in crates. All dogs need shelter, so get the ideal pit bull sized dog crate. We'd wager that your main pit bull type dog will also take his favorite toys inside. Particularly the pit bulls, both of these dogs are in excellent health. The pit bull lives an average of 12 to 16 years, but the bully lives an average of 9 to 13 years. Like other dogs, these two are more susceptible to some health issues than others. Your dog's life expectancy will undoubtedly increase if you feed them high-quality food, keep them active, and take them in for routine checkups. Pit bulls are susceptible to hip dysplasia, just like many other breeds of dogs. When the hip socket and the upper thigh bone do not sit properly, this congenital disease develops. By doing so, the risk of painful arthritis in later life is increased and the hip may dislocate. Skin disorders are another matter of health to be aware of. The most frequent ones include ichthyosis, demodectic mange, zinc-responsive dermatosis, and allergic rashes. In most cases, they are not serious, but they should be looked at to enhance quality of life. Similar to American bullies, it has hip dysplasia. The bully is prone to cherry eye, cataracts, and progressive retinal atrophy, PRA, among other eye diseases. Because of the genetics of the English Bulldog, high-quality breeders will test for heart abnormalities. The bully's muzzle is a little bit shorter even if he is not a brachycephalic breed. He does not enjoy the heat as much as the pit bull does. Simply because of the American bully's wide range in weight and dietary requirements, it is challenging to compare these two in terms of nutrition. Between two and three cups of food are consumed daily by the typical pit bull. The bully, however, might eat anything from 1.5 to 5 cups of food each day. In other words, the monthly food budget could be entirely different or nearly the same. In the end, you should heed the specific instructions on the packaging. American bullies need to eat kibble that has been recommended for bullies. Additionally, kibble that has been prescribed just for pit bulls will work best for them. Like other dogs, make sure to feed them the best food you can afford because diet can have a significant impact on a dog's health. Be careful to give them both food that is suitable for their ages because it creates the framework for a healthy body, especially throughout puppyhood. Bully gas is supposedly the worst of all, according to many pit bull type dog owners. Fortunately, both of these puppies have easy to maintain coats. To keep them looking healthy and bright, they just need to brush their short, straight hair once a week. Dead hair and grime will be removed, natural coat oils will be dispersed, and it will be a soothing time to spend with your dog. A straightforward bristle brush works well for both of these guys. Both pit bulls and bullies shed on average. The fact that neither blows its coat on a seasonal basis is quite appealing to many owners. One bath per two to three months is recommended for both pets. Or if they need treatment after getting really dirty while out on their walkies. However, never more than once every month. It is advised to shampoo either of these puppies using a shampoo made for dogs with sensitive skin. At least twice a week, their teeth should be brushed or much more if you have a little bully because of their increased susceptibility of periodontal conditions. Pit bull puppies cost on average less than American bully puppies. A trustworthy breeder will start charging around $1,000 for a pit bull, in contrast to the $1,200 cost of a bully puppy. Because there are so many pit bulls in shelters across the country, the cost is reduced. The bully's size and shape can make giving birth more difficult than with other breeds of dogs. 
If you wish to work with a well-known or canine celebrity breeder, be prepared to spend significantly more. Always bring up rescuing when it comes to bully breeds with your family. You must deal with a reliable breeder if you decide to purchase a puppy. Unfortunately, many people still compete in barbaric dogfighting, and both of these dogs are easy pickings. Many breeders care more about their financial well-being than the health of their puppies. Consequently, do your homework and make sure the breeder you choose takes all reasonable steps to create healthy puppies. Not simply the initial puppy cost must be taken into account, there are also continuous lifetime costs. All puppies require brand new crates, beds, and toys. Moreover, there are also food costs, insurance for pets, and medical expenses. Both dogs may need special insurance or licensing for dangerous dogs in some locations. These are other financial commitments that should also be taken into account. Final Remarks That's all, people. The American Bully and the Pitbull in all their splendor. The Bully's occasionally bigger stature is one of the most notable differences. They might live less time and might be more difficult to train. But as our canine comparison demonstrates, they are more alike than unlike. Both of them are grouped together as scary bully dogs, which causes public dread and results in some disastrous BSL laws. You will undoubtedly find a cute dog to join your family if you can get past that.